All right, uh, let's move on to our final topic because last week there was an unexpected announcement from IO Interactive, right, Steve? Very unexpected. I didn't see this coming whatsoever. But yeah, uh, Hitmo, Hitman developer IO Interactive announced that their next project after uh, the imminent release of Hitman 3 will be a James Bond game, uh, tentatively titled Project 007. Uh, not too much is known about the, the project. They released a teaser. Um, but they have been saying that they're working really close with Eon Productions and MGM to develop this game which is pretty impressive considering that the studio is independent. So they're negotiating all this on their own. Yeah. Not through a publisher or anything like that. So really great on them. Um, yeah, I mean, video game circulating James Bond and the IP has been really muddied in the past. I mean, you take a look at Super or N64's Goldeneye, but beyond that, like... <laughs> what happened? It really, yeah, there really hasn't been that many great games. I mean, um, obviously Did in they- 20... Sorry, did 20... they try to bring back Goldeneye? So I was going to say, yeah, in 2010, Eurocom uh, remade Goldeneye, but for some reason they decided to not make it fun whatsoever. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and then that one was, uh, yeah, that was developed or published by Activision. And then in 2012, that was the last James Bond game, uh, 007 Legends, also published by Activision. It was critically panned. Uh, the developer once again Eurocom, who developed uh, they developed the game and ended up laying off seventy five percent of their staff after, Ooh. and completely pivoted towards mobile games. Um, and then Activision, uh, who acquired the license in twenty sixteen, subsequently lost the whole James Bond license after that. that it was wasn't great for them. So yeah, eight eight years later, it kind of seems like Bond has fallen into new hands. Personally, on my opinion, these are capable hands. Yeah, I think. IO Interactive has such a great background in creating these stealth sandbox games with the Hitman franchise. I'm really eager to see what they do with uh, that foundation and bring it towards like a Bond a Bond game. Well, yeah. I don't know if you guys are really into James Bond or like James Bond, I a video game James Bond. I love James yeah? Bond. Love it. I'm so, yo, I'm so excited for the new James Bond movie, but oh, we'll, we'll talk about all that yeah. stuff offline. Yeah. But um, GoldenEye was like my life, okay? <laughs> GoldenEye was the way I settled my problems with my family members, like my cousins, <laughs> and they took how we figured who got the last bit of nuggets, okay? Like it was it was my everything. And you know, I just think of like what made that game so great was the fact that it had that multiplayer aspect, which wasn't as popular back then. Now, if I looked at like, you know, I, I think to myself, like, why am I not playing GoldenEye right now? Well, obviously it's not accessible. A lot of people aren't playing it. If it was on servers, I'd probably be playing it now. So I feel like multiplayer has to be a huge, like huge aspect to uh, Project 007. But I don't want it to be like a Call of Duty or anything like that. It has to still keep it um, sandbox, as you mentioned. It has to keep it limited. And I think that's what makes it so much fun. No, 100%. Yeah. uh, Like, I I go back to the scene in um, Casino Royale where Bond goes into the casino. He's infiltrating and and stuff like that. That's what I kind of go back to is like, I think IO can do some really creative stuff. I, I do hope that they experiment with like some driving mechanics. I know Hitman doesn't oh, really incorporate awesome. those, but like just to do like some of those flashy cars that you always see in Bond, I think that would be wicked. Uh, I would love to see that. I, I think this is just awesome. Potential. Yeah. No, this is this is as so long as cool. they look at what didn't work in the past and don't yeah. do that. <laughs> that would that should be yeah. priority number Hopefully. one going <laughs> yeah. into this. Um, I, I will say like it coming from IO has me scared because I am terrible at the hitman games mm. uh it's not it doesn't have me scared in that i'm worried they're gonna be a bad game or anything i'm i'm fairly confident this is going to be an awesome james bond game mm-hmm. i'm just wondering how they're going to approach this like are they going to go all in on stealth again are they going to ah. make this more of an action adventure kind of make it feel uncharted ish if you right. will um I, i'm really intrigued i'm really intrigued to see what this is going to be like and i mean yeah big ups as well to io just they're yes. self-publishing. They're completely independent to get such a massive IP Cute. like James Bond yeah. and to be like the developers at the helm of a James Bond game for the first time. That's and huge. Yeah, it, it's it's so crazy. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this and I can't wait to find out more. Hopefully it's it's not too far away. 
But I oh. imagine, I imagine oh, this Game just Awards? being an announcement. Maybe, but That's I imagine so them only too. using th- them using a working title and and barely having an announcement trailer makes me feel like yeah. they only just recently got the green light. That's what makes yeah. me feel like. So we might not hear about this for a little while. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, sorry, so go ahead, Steve. No, I was just going to say, it, it really does seem like this game is at least two years away, especially because Hitman's coming out, I think, in January, I believe. Uh, yes. They'll want all their focus on that before yeah. before they pivot towards this. Right. Yeah. I, I do think, though, if they... If they just showed us a little, a little, a little trailer, a little bit, a little bit like that'd be just, great. You know, just all the to like hit all the nostalgia bubbles, it would get everyone yeah. so much more excited. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. They're going to be focusing on the next Hitman, so that's probably where we're going to see their attention lay. I want to go back to something Caboose mentioned. Um, the whole, uh, the whole stealth aspect. I didn't think about that because when they made this announcement, I was like, oh my God, it makes absolutely uh, perfect sense to have IO Interactive do a 007. That like, it's just the perfect equation. Why didn't we think about that before? (laughs) But when you think of 007, especially how 007 has evolved now um, since Daniel Craig, it's much more action than stealth. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I feel like it can't even be a balance. I feel like you may have to have a few stealth missions, but it it, it right. does need to be a lot of action for yeah, a double. Yeah, it's got to be an action game. A lot yeah. of action, a lot of gadgets, um, oh, yeah. proximity <laughs> minds only, slappers on, <laughs> yeah. golden gun. Golden gun, <laughs> yes. Golden gadgets. Go, go, yes. Gadgets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. And, and I think that would make it a great experience. Now, obviously, IO Interactive, it's a new game that they're coming out with and probably an IP that they want to hold on to. So they're probably looking at multiple oh, installments sure. after this one because 007, that's a huge IP. Um, but what would what would really attract new gamers? Because obviously, nostalgic gamers will sign up. They're going to play. But mm-hmm. do you think they have to change some aspects of the old game? It obviously, update the graphics, update the format. But to make kind of um, successful amongst a younger generation of gamers. I mean, I think it's going to be third person, probably a linear yeah. action adventure type game. Um, maybe it'll have that like like Hitman's not necessarily open world, but Hitman has like that level of freedom. So it might right. have that same level of freedom. I don't know if it's going to be like open world per se, um, but this is I, I think this is going to be third person. I don't think this would be anything Definitely. like any James Bond game we've seen. No. I can definitely I I, see having like a upgrade tree, like spend resources to upgrade. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Dare I say the dreaded three letters in video games that scares them all off <laughs> an RPG. <laughs> oh my <No>. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve, you were about to say something. I was just going to say, my biggest thing is keep it away from the films. Like, don't don't make them look like Daniel Craig. Don't make it anything like this. Just keep it away. Keep it its own IP and universe. Plus, it wouldn't make sense because we know Daniel Craig is up to his last, like, he's near the end of his contract. I think, actually, this may be his last movie um, as 007. So, and if anything, if bring Idris Elba in. So. Yeah. If anything, Daniel Craig has proven that you don't have to like follow the same yes. formula of James Bond. Like the brand itself, the IP itself draws people in and you can right. just have fun with it from there. Like I remember a lot of people were like, wait, hold on. Daniel Craig, blonde hair, yes. blue eyes, this dude's yeah, yeah. James Bond. What the that hell's going on? Yeah. And then they and then they make some of the best James Bond films in the entire franchise. And everyone's like, Oh yeah, we were stupid. Um, so yeah. like if anything, like you definitely don't need to follow the film formula because those films have proven that you don't have to follow any formula specifically when it comes to James Bond. Like, granted, you got it. Like, there are a couple of the the, the big parts of James Bond of that yeah. IP that you need. To have. Like, like Q, the gadgets, all that stuff needs to be there. The, the swab suit, yeah, yeah the like characters. the characterization, the iconography right. still needs to to be maintained. But you can still take some liberties and have some fun with it. Yeah. And, and it'll still be James Bond. For sure. And I was going to say what? this other thing. Uh, sorry to, to cut you off. But one thing I hope that they do, and if they want to get bold and really listen to the community, this is the time to get Idris Elba and MoCap and get him as James Bond. 
I'd be down. Oh, let's do it, Theo. Let's do yes. it. Yes. Let's give him his due. Oh um, my God. Um, that'd be that'd another be good so reason great. to, I guess, not follow the movies at all with the games is people will compare the game to the movie. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It, that's mm-hmm. true. We want people it's to see the game yeah. as its own. For thing. sure. Yeah. We don't want them comparing it all the time to the movie or. Yep. And now that you mentioned that, they're notoriously not great. (laughs) Yeah, well, yeah, (laughs) notoriously. But now that you do mention it, when I played Goldeneye, I had no idea what the movie was because I was too young to watch the movie. So, um, my experience was not based on the movies at all. As I as I grew up, because now I'm a big kid, um, (laughs) you have you. I grew my. (laughs) Don't laugh at me. I am a big kid. Um, I grew my love for James Bond and they kind of coincided, but uh, I I don't think you need to have that basis in the movies in order to make the game successful. We've seen it countless time. As you mentioned, Caboose, it's, it's, it's probably won't do good. It won't do good. I'm excited for James Bond. I'm excited to see what IO interactive will do, uh, but we'll just have to keep waiting and just counting the seconds. Until we see the more of CGI trailer, and then people say it doesn't look like the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 Oh my god, I love it. Um, chat, you have been great. I see some of your comments. Hunter Slasher Thirteen says, "Selling more on this game. Put more of those beautiful three letters in this 007 game." <laughs> no, please, please, please don't leave those RPs and Gs out of there. <laughs> Um, yeah, it just Alba would be a good one. I think chat pretty much agrees with us, uh, agrees with us there. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Before we go, Victoria, what new articles do you have coming up? Oh, so I'm writing a bunch of guides for Dead by Daylight mainly now about how to utilize the perks on survivors the best way, how to combo them. Nice. And I have a bunch of recent articles on the Crown Tundra, which was the newest DLC for Pokemon. If you want to check out all those, get all the information so you can get everything in there. And can we expect some Shadowland stuff? We'll see. I have to play around with a lot of it first because, you know, at the start of expansion, it's all experimentation. All mm. right. So we're going to look out for all of your Pokemon uh, Crown Tundra and uh, Dead by Daylight stuff on the website. And hopefully wishing for some Shadowland stuff for all those people that do play World of Warcraft. And you can find those articles at squadstate.com. Uh, Steve, I know you got some articles as well going up. What do we got? Uh, a lot of my attention is being directed towards a uh, somewhat secret project uh, right now. I can't really go into that much. Uh, detail but uh you know keep on the socials keep an eye on on the website and all that uh we have some stuff coming this month that i'm working on but it's exciting the mystery the mystery of it all and those eyebrows (laughs) (laughs) caboose uh what's what's up with you this week just playing some more Mortal Kombat, written really into the DLC, uh, playing still Spider-Man. They just added the ability to transfer your save from Spider-Man mm. PS4 mm. into the remaster. I got a tutorial up the, uh, on my channel for that. And uh, and yeah, just sticking with those two games and hoping and praying that we see some more from Gotham Knights at the Game Awards. That would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, you can check me out YouTube or Twitch uh, slash Caboose, youtube.com slash Caboose, twitch.tv slash Caboose, or Twitter and Instagram at Caboose EK. Ah, sweet. Uh, I will actually be bringing uh, Hyrule Warriors review this week on the TV show and also all the latest releases that you could expect. I'll be talking a little bit about Shadowlands as well. So that's all the world war, world, world of war crap. I can't even say it that you're going to get from me. I was laughing because I'm like, you guys are never going to get any more wow from me ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so stay tuned for the TV show on Apple TV, Jinx, Esports. Canada as well and stay tuned just for all squad things on our socials at squad state and of course the website squadstate.com thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week bye